bunch. And they'll come up out. There's a lot of big, big trout down <laughs> God, below. Dude, so Chairman, we are live again. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today is June 30th. This is the afternoon session of BOE. Our next appeal is SL22264, Daily Family Trust. This is in Wagon Wheel. Uh, in McCall. Oh, McCall. McCall Road. Yeah. So the subject property is 995 Wagon Wheel Road. Uh, it's one tier back oh. from being lakefront. Okay. On the west side of the lake. Uh, it consists of 0.286 acres. Uh, it's in an excellent land grade. It also has a 2,047 square foot home, graded as an average and average condition, built in 1958 for the 1970 effective year. This parcel also has a 16 by 24 detached garage built in 1975. I have uh, provided the last three years of values for you guys. Review. Um, the appellant uh, offered no comparable sales. Uh, there, you can look at their packet. There's a letter from them, a newspaper article, and their assessment notice. <clears throat> And when you're done reviewing that, um, let me know and we'll go over the sales that I've provided uh, for review. Go for it. Okay. Um, so I've got the subject down at the bottom so you can see the square footage and the value and what have you. So I've got Sales that range from being built in 1972 down to 2021. Um, I've got, let's see, so there's a 1,048 square feet, which is half of the square footage of the subject. Built in 85, it sold for 688,850. Once again, it's half the size of the subject. My next comp is just a hair larger in square footage. It's 2152, built in 85. It sold for 747,500. Uh, let's see, the next closest comp to square footage I have is 2168, built in 95. It sold for 908,500. Here's one built in 2004, so quite a bit newer. I'm sorry, square footage is 2004, built in 2000, sold for 782,000. Once again, that was a little bit smaller, but much newer. Uh, here's another one, 1,464 square feet, so it's much smaller than the subject, sold for 715,500. Here's another one for 1,783 square feet. Uh, so it's much, it's smaller than the subject, however, built in 2007, sold for two, 747, 720. So the assessed value on uh, the subject is 708. We have an effective year of 1970 and it's 2047 square feet. Um, in looking at these comps, I believe that uh, they fall right in line with where they should be assessed at. So, so we have an, the date of the effective date is 1970. There has been no work done in that. I'd so be it was surprised. Built, uh, hold on, I just read that. Yeah. So it was built in 58, and we have a 1970 effective uh, year on it, which they probably did a few upgrades, which I don't know many 58 homes that would still be standing and functional. Um, this is a seasonal cabin for them, they have stated. Have when last did we get inside that, do you know? Uh, I don't know as if I've ever been inside this home. It's got, it's got a couple of features that kind of work against the shared well, shared driveway, not plowed in winter. Those are all. So, so is there a reduction for the age of the building? Oh, yeah. They've, they're receiving 36% uh, depreciation on their 36. Home. So what do you get if your house is built in 1940? Mm. Or built in what? Was built in 1904. How much of a reduction? If it was built in 58. 1904. Oh, 1904. I don't know, Elk. Can you look at, can we go look at your property right Yeah, you could. Because <laughs> I've often wondered. Is that what that. you're asking? Well, I think we have an effective age on your house because you've done a little work to it. 
Just a little, but not much. We can look at that later. <laughs> they don't really have a shared driveway, Ed. I mean, they've got Ford? Ed's road. It's a road that goes back. In. Anyway, it's one tier back. Uh, uh, they've got two driveways going to it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I think I would just be really shocked if the dailies had not. And they get in off of both this. Cedar yeah, Crest and that one. If the dailies had not updated this thing, I'd be pretty surprised. So no, uh, and we were showing it. It's <coughs> and they state in their <clears throat> it's sixty-two year old cabin, seasonal in nature, utilized only three months per year. Uninsulated, unused over in the months, which many of those old houses are that way. Uh, shared wheel, shared driveway. No unique features other than uh, it's uh, one tier back from Payette Lake. And they have direct access, access at the end of Wagon Wheel Road. Mm -hmm. They do. Will you go down there, June, so that they can... Everybody can see these guys have. If you go, you don't go that way on your map. Go to the away map. from Warren Wagon toward the lake. Do they um, have lake keep, access. No, keep going down Warren Wagon or the Wagon Wheel Road to the lake. If you go all the way to the end. I believe that these guys have direct access onto the end. Yeah, they do. Is there probably a subdivision or? It's actually when they replatted uh, Payette Lake Cottage sites, which were there at the end, they made it so that there was a parcel so people would have lake access right there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just continue on Wagon Wheel Road all the way to the water, that's all public access. Yeah. There. So, oh. I mean, they do have access to the lake. Um, it is a tough one, but I mean, it is. Well, the comps are there. That's that's yeah. the bottom line. I mean, it, you got to look to the yeah. comps to see well, would this thing sell yeah. at this moment in time at this price point. Oh, here's the one that gets me. This one is half the square footage of the subject. Half the square footage. Built in 85. So there's only 15 years difference there. And it sold for 688.850. And we have the appellant um, valued at 708. So 688,850 for half the square footage. 15 years newer. That's the one that really sticks out to me the most. Here's another one that is just a hair bigger. Sold for 747,500. Once again, we're at 708 on the subject. Built, and that one was built in 85 as well. Hmm. Uh, that one was built in 07. The 747 009. 07. Which is? I'm sorry, what, which one are you referring to, Commissioner Muffin? Line I number. thought you were doing yeah, line 23, the 1783, or am I looking oh, at the 1783 one? Uh, is the square footage, 2007 is the year built. So it's quite a bit newer, but it, the square footage is smaller. It's probably much. For seven forty seven seven twenty, the one I was referring to is on line ten. Twenty one fifty two oh. on your square feet, built in the eighty five, sold for seven forty seven five hundred, which is more than what we have the uh, subject property assessed for. Well, even eighty five is considerably newer than when he. It's had. fifteen years, so they're yeah. getting not okay. quite as much depreciation. What is this P? The one that really gets me is, is that tells uh, a pretty big story is 3,048 square feet, Thanks. so half the size of the subject. Roof fires and 15 theory. years old, newer than the subject. <clears throat> sold for 688,850. Mm. Half the square footage. And we're at 708. So, what kind of a, a grade do you have on the house, on the building? It's itself? just average, average. Just average, average? Yeah. Uh, even with no insulation. We've got it as low as we can get it. Yeah, I. So the one that's the twenty-one fifty-two square feet built in nineteen eighty-five, guys, sold at seven forty-seven five hundred, is up on Crescent Rim Drive. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a view up there either. <coughs> a lot well, farther away from the lake. Yeah, but Crescent Rim is pretty. 
it is a it's not, an older neighborhood but it's kind of has not some view compared to down there generally mm-hmm. yeah huh. i don't know ed what do you think I, I, did you get a feeling for what i mean I, I'm, I'm sure he'd like to have it back at last year but that's not realistic i, I don't really know. No. No. he wants it at 468,000. Yeah, but most of the increase was actually in the ground. Now you have to go someplace way above where he would. Hundred thousand like each. Yeah, not quite on the house. Yeah, two basically two hundred seventy-eight on the land. Yeah, but it's one tier back from Pay at Lake as well, so that's why they're. Yeah, most of these are pretty straightforward, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. With direct access. Yeah. yeah. What's your pleasure? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I here's another one. Line. If you look at line two of the sale, so you've got 2,500 square feet, which is 500 larger than the subject, built in 79. It's nine years difference on New, the age. Newer. Sold yeah. for, yes, newer. Sold for $8.99. And that's on, well, that's an adjusted price. Adjusted, but, time adjusted. Yeah. Um, that's on Colorado, right in back. Yeah. I mean, you go by that trailer and, and the proximity it goes off to the, to lake the right. Is, I mean, so oh, yeah, it's nothing even close to it. I went through that house. No, that house that's not a comparable. No. No, that's not really a. I know, and it sold for $8.99. Yeah. Once again. So it's values at 708 for the appellant. I would move that we decline the appeal 22264. Second. Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. The thing I, is, I, I, mean, I just kept they, coming back to that. It's kind of that old structure, uninsulated. Kind of a pretty, oh. pretty rustic. 266, Joy Murphy. Yeah. I've worked on a couple of those back in there. <clears throat> Which one are we doing? Joy Murphy, 266, SL. 266, Samson Trail. Next one down. You have two of those. I can't believe what I do, but I'm only doing for. 266 right now. Okay. They're different properties? Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So this one's right off Elo. Well, and also, uh, Commissioner Maupin, she is uh, appealing because the assessment does not include an agricultural exemption. Uh, she said that she has requested the agricultural exemption from the commissioners on November 2nd of 2020. And the last page on her appeal is uh, a copy of the letter that she sent to the commissioners. Uh, we would have no authority to do anything I'm, like I'm that. I'm aware, and I told her that. Um, so, does she have cattle on it? What, I have no idea because she's never applied to me, uh-huh. so I've never been there. So I don't know. Anyway, I didn't. She's only appealing because she doesn't have an A exemption. So, <clears throat> her this, property is three quarters timber. Yeah. Yeah. So it's at 1280 South Sampson Trail. I know exactly where this one is. Anyway, Joy claims that she sent a letter to the Valley County Commissioners on November 2nd of 2020 requesting an agricultural exemption. I explained to Joy in a return email on 627 of 22 that she would have needed to contact the assessor's office to request an agricultural exemption application. Then she needed to call and let me know when the cattle were there present and grazing. I would then come verify the egg usage Joy has never contacted me until Monday the 27th to request an application. I sent her an application on Tuesday the 28th of this week, and 
I advised her uh, that the application would be for her 2023 assessment, and that she would need to call me when the cattle were present and grazing. So I am, um, I, I will, I cannot grant her an egg exemption until she proves usage and fills out an application and sends it in. Exemptions are not in, um, implied. They, they have to be uh, applied for. Right. So, so basically until she can prove her point, then we just go ahead and deny this because yes. we don't have any facts to support the basis. She, well, she has to go through the process that everybody else has to, to, to gain a, an exemption. So. so I'm familiar with this property because they're the only people in that area. Does she have cows? That's you know. she does. If it's a rock place, show me where it's at. Uh, I think June's got it highlighted. I just want to make sure of that. And that's fine, but and and I I don't have a problem giving her the exemption. She just has to go through the proper. She'd have to go through the process to get yes. it. But where I think it is, if I'm, it's on Sampson Trail, just south of Elo Road, about a mile, half a mile. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, um, yeah, they've had cows there for the last two or three years. Essentially, it's a feedlot in a, in a residential neighborhood. Oh, I bet she's popular. Yeah, and it really is. Do you remember seeing that? I'm not. Yeah, if you drive that road there, there you can't miss them. cows or something? No, this is down farther? I it's don't drive that road very often. But. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a... I can't imagine the neighbors being happy about it either. Well, she's got two parcels there. So she, right. the next door parcel, I believe, is the next one we're going to hear. And I think she was more, uh, in this appeal, directed at her assessed value for land and the house. She actually doesn't uh, mention anything about the egg exemption on this one, but it's a smaller acreage. Yeah. Well. I, you know, that's, that's the next one. So. It's just observation that that's where it's at. I know where okay. it's at. Yeah, they do have cows. So did she have the egg exemption last year? No. Or the year before? She's no, she's never. Never. Con she's never contacted me. She she's hanging okay. her hat on that she sent the you guys a, a letter. Uh, I don't, I don't remember she, ever seeing this. Me, I've never seen it. I would have given it to you guys. She ever contacted me. I have a very organized process that I, that I go through, and so I'm pretty familiar with every property either granted an exemption or, or one removed. Hmm. Well, until she goes through all the paperwork and everything, we can't do anything. Right. And we just got to go through that process. Oh. And I will recenter the application. We should have it by now. Hmm. Probably today, actually. Oh, so based on you know the fact we, we can't legally do anything until she goes through the proper process, I will move to deny appeal 22266. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> so we're going to be in the same situation on this next one. Um, no, she doesn't say anything about the egg exemption on this one. Mm. This one I have prepared comps. <laughs> However, I did include this parcel number on her egg exemption application. So when I go out there, I will verify if that parcel is actually being used at all for, for uh, agricultural purposes. Um, I believe that she is appealing the land value. And I believe that she, no, she enclosed or uh, included six compared land sales to compare to her property. And I'll address those when you're ready. They're all in Kings Pine. Well, they're in Adams County. Adam's side. Okay. Okay. Uh, appeal number SL 22 267 for Joy Murphy, 1264 South Sampson Trail. So it's 
the parcel that is highlighted on the screen next door to the other one. Uh, it's 1.92 acres. We have a good land grade on it. Uh, I have included her land values for the last three years. She offered six comps, so I'm going to um, just run through this real quick with you. Um, first comp was in White Cloud uh, subdivision, 2.26 acres. Is in a good land grade, so same as hers. And we did use this sale in our analysis, and the time adjusted sale price is 283.355, which is higher than her assessed value, mind you, but she has a little less acreage, so right in line. Uh, the next comp is in Pearson Corners, Corners, excuse me, 1.732 acres. It's average land grade, so it's one land grade below the subject. We did use this sale in our analysis. Time adjusted sale price on this is 264 which is still higher, even if, though it's one <laughs> land grade lower than hers. Uh, anyway, her assessed value is just a hair under that sale price. Comp three is in King Pines four. Uh, this is not, <clears throat> excuse me, a Valley County comp. Uh, they do not have views of the lake uh, from Adams County side. Same for comp four, not a Valley County comp. Comp five that she provided was a 2022 sale and we will use it in next year's analysis. <clears throat> I can't give you more information on this one because she did not specify a lot or block number. And I was unable to find it in our system. So she didn't quite give me enough information to give you guys the estimation on this one. So I apologize. Oh, it's clear at the top. Build that property. And then King, uh, the comp six is King Pines four, once again in Adams County on the other side with no view at all. Uh, the last sheet is an Excel spreadsheet with some uh, land sales. Ms. Murphy has uh, 1.92 acres. So I have a 1.8 acre sale for 261.9. And I have a 2.2 acre sale for 283.365. And she falls right in between those two sales. As well as I think you're fair, Sue. You too. I'll make a motion that we deny this appeal. Second. And move to second. And move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, it's going to be NA 22277. <laughs> um, this is ID America. Great, sober. Bogey Drive. In Cascade. Thank you. Thank you. Seventy percent in one year is not happening. <laughs> um, I was on the phone with Craig uh, regarding properties that he owns uh, in Donnelly, mostly. Um, and then at the end of our conversation, we addressed this parcel in Cascade. <clears throat> So this property sits at 124 Bowden Drive in Cascade. It consists of 0.193 uh, of average good land grades. A little better than average, not quite a good land grade. As you can see, it sits back, fairly private neighborhood. 
Uh, this parcel has a 2,118 square foot home built in 2019 mm. with an attached garage of 288 square feet. They were both uh, built in 19, I'm sorry, I think I already said that. Uh, graded as an average, in average condition. I've included the last three years' values. Uh, the appellant um, offered no comparable sales. Um, and also, just so you guys uh, are aware, this parcel sold uh, last June, June 15th, a year ago, and they chose not to share the sale price with our office, so we weren't able to use it in our analysis. I still don't know what he paid for it. Um, and so all I can do is include the comps that were reported to us. I only used the Cascade um, oh. sales. I actually pulled <coughs> a couple of average pluses just to give you guys a, a better feel for what things are selling for. He is graded just as an average, and there are some average uh, sales on here, but there's also a uh, three, one, two, three, four average plus sales and two good sales, but obviously those sales are much, much higher than the design value. Uh, I put those all on there so you can just get a feel for the one here at home that they sell more. So and what was, was wrong with the ones? I'm sorry. What oh, was I'm sorry, go ahead. So the one on line eight. Okay. 2360 built in 85, so it's much older. Sold for 414 4. But it was built in 85. Got it. It was built in uh, 2019. Actually new. So it's much. Yeah. Very, very new. A fairly nice place. Probably Lakeview. Uh, no, I don't know. They don't have a Lakeview no, from that. Lake Their land grade would be higher if they did. Oh, okay. They're not that far from the lake, but no view. Hmm. Well. Again, I think you've been fair. Uh, you know, the whole thing's not fair to people, right? But well, <laughs> hopefully the market will slow down a little bit. And, it uh, is. Yeah, that's, yeah. <clears throat> I'll make a motion that we deny this appeal. I'll second. <clears throat> Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Today, see it. I think Anthony's ready to um, some stuff. Go, go have that doctor hurt your finger. I know. You know, June's like, they don't have to re break it today, do they? I'm like, no, <laughs> not yet. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> so, long way from the heart, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, after what happened last year, it's nothing. Boy. That's what an old Packer used to tell me. Yeah. A long way from your heart. Get over it. A long way from your heart. You're going to be okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna thank you. Anthony so. know that you're ready for him. If okay. that's the okay. case. Anthony's nest or? Thank you. Oh, Doreen's right. coming. Doreen's coming. Anthony Lock the doors. slot. <laughs> so Anthony came down. And I know we went kind of fast. Nope. Even, even for me, and I'm pretty well, I'm seasoned, but the most seasoned other than Anthony. He can shoot from the hip, but he's a little more uh, slower. Well, Are you telling us we're not gentle? No. No. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying just Noreen's a good talker and she hasn't been up here quickly. for two years. Sorry, your time is up. <laughs> right? Your time's up. Let's we're start done. with NA. It's Jimmy's at the square three, end. Four. Oh, yeah. Can we please rise oh, and raise yes. right in? I swear two, to tell three, the truth, four. the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I hope to God. Yes. Thank you. I better get that set. Okay, which one are we going to do again? NA2234. 3 4. She's been signed McDonald. in. She's been sworn in. Yep. This is McDonald, Marcus, Scott, Colleen, Living Trust, Spring Mountain Ranch.
Mm. Yep. <laughs> no, it's got to stand up. You can avoid me because I've been avoiding you. That's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I'll, here, you want this one? Here it is. Yep, it came to me. Did you get, would you like to trade? Um, this one looks like an original too, so it's up to you. Okay, that's fine. Like, it's got blue ink on it anyway. I just, I didn't feel like photocopying. Can you re repeat which one you're presenting right okay, now? Okay, we're doing NA2234. It's on page two, third one down. Donald, Marcus McDonald, Scott and Colleen. Thank you. Spring Fireweed Drive, Spring Mountain Ranch. So, Marine, go ahead. This is located at 1031 Fireweed Drive. The property consists, oh, it's in the Spring Mountain Ranch subdivision, and it is a 0 0.4260 acres in excellent land grade. The appellant did not offer any comparables, only a purchase sale agreement that was dated February 2022, which will be used in the next. Attached, you will see the comparables that I found. All in the same neighborhood, all with an excellent grade, and it falls right between 300 and 383, and his land grade is actually 393. Yeah, he's got another tenth of an acre. And really, it's just all the time adjustments. From February until exactly. yeah. last year. Right, right in the ballpark with everybody else there. Yeah. We'll make a motion we deny this appeal. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. In today's world, that's that uh, he's got a fairly good, reasonable price property. Feel my, I've got to keep killing, knocking bees' nests off of it. <laughs> what number are we on, Marie? All right, we're going to do NA22214. Two. 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 You say 214? 214. It's 2 2, though. Two, I've got one five. It's way back. Oh, I think that was one where, yeah. Uh, it's way back there. there the, yeah. Because I hung on to oh, all of them and then I turned them into three. <laughs> well, this is on page seven. This is owned by Brandon Stock, Arling Trails Subdivision. Go ahead, Noreen. This parcel's over on West Mountain in the CRs, specific to the CR5 subdivision, also known as Cascade Reservoir Sub. Um, parcel is 4.5 acres and an average slash good land grade. The appellant did offer three comparables. So the first one that he offered, um, we actually had in, it's, it's a combined sale that happened. And so we originally had it in our sales analysis for the smaller parcel. So it didn't, I know it was an outlier, so we weren't using it really in the analysis. It's the way he reported it to us is just the smaller, the smaller parcel at that large amount. Um, so I can say that we didn't, I asked Anthony and it was not used in the analysis, even though there were 3.4161 acres. The second comp that he used 
was a two acre um, land. It's a little bit south of his in the CR3 subdivision. So the ones that he provided were all in the CR subdivision. So, and that particular one is an average good also, but it only sold for 85,000. I'm sure that person might have got a really good deal. Um, and then the third comp was also in the CRs, but in an average condition, 4.1, very close to the size of his lot. The time adjust comes in at 259. So if you look at the three that I provided to you, most of them are average with one good, and his assessed price of 265 falls right in our time adjusted. That looks pretty prices. close. So the one that was so low, I'm going to make an assumption that there was no septic on that. What so is? Do you know, um, you know what? Septic? Most of most of these that sit in there have no septic. You know, if they're bare lots right now and they're that large, um, I'm going to say we're not. Probably doesn't have a septic, but There's I would have to say acres, that maybe though, it's right? way up. I can't remember exactly where the one that sold for so little. You talking about the two hundred nine? It's on Bear Trail Loop. Bear Trail Loop. Somewhere. And it could be because it is marshy right in there. There are some spots on the on Bear Trail Loop that are marshy. There's others that aren't. But the, one of the sales that I um, provided, I want to say it's the very first one, uh, Lot 31 on the county cops line that sold for 250 and it was 2.8, is um, contiguous to his property. I think right this is, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is easy peasy. I think it's very reasonable for that much ground. So I'll make the most we need in the appeal. Second that. I'm going to say it all in favor, please say aye. 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 Yeah, he has the biggest property there. Yeah, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah it's really wooded. I, you know, it has, has to do some excavation on it. Are we going next? Uh, two 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 eight zero and eight. Well, where page doesn't go that far? <laughs> it doesn't. Our last one's two 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 seven three. Woodworth. Uh, it is Woodworth. Did you say two two? Let's see. Two eight zero. Two 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 eight zero. Where is it? It's back quite a ways. Oh, wait a minute, there's more pages oh, underneath. Extra oh Woodworth. Oh my gosh, Woodworth. <laughs> Page nine. Extra Woodworth, yes. Extra Woodworth. This is on Farm to Market, Roseberry Town side. So this one's kind of unique. <laughs> it sits right on Farm to Market. If you look at the map, it's a beautiful little parcel. Looking at the map. Okay. He has provided a letter from Cinda in his appeal packet. Um, there was there were nine lots there originally, and then it got combined into one big lot. So his <coughs> had a letter. Oh, is it after they miss it? Mm -hmm. So it is interesting to read Cinda's to him. Uh, we don't have anything on file about being sanitary restricted. I checked the CDH website um, to see if it was sanitary restricted. He indicates that it is approximately two-thirds marshy land for the septic system and the way it sits. And it's, it has the sanitary restriction of 50% on it already. So true value without that is 177000 the comps that I provided are in regards if you were to look at it without that sanitary restriction. So 
By doing so, you'll see he falls right in, right in where he, I mean, right where he needs to be with that sanitary restriction on there. The comps that he provided are much smaller, 0.23 and 0.29. Uh, one was actually down the south end of Cascade in that Riverside subdivision. <laughs> and then the other one is in the Roseberry town site where he's at. And it's much smaller than his at 33.5. Um, I didn't truly look at that one to see if it possibly had a sanitary restriction on it too. But if, we, if he didn't have that sanitary restriction, he would be assessed at 177, which all day long he could get. He's pretty low. But where, where's his comp that he's talking about with no well 25,000? Where was that? That, I believe, is that the real quick. Where is this? Right? Where is that? Right here. So he had the one that he provided that was at I think you've done a great job here, so I'll make the motion we deny this appeal of NA22280. I'll second. Moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. <sighs> No, in 22136. On page three, Lauren Duggan, Duggan, Aspen Red Sub. 226. Two, two, one, three, six. One, three, six. Three. One, three, six. One, three, six. This property sits in the Aspen Ridge subdivision phase two, consists of point four three eight five acres. The appellant did not provide any comps to us. All she provided was two potential purchase and sale agreements because she was unable to sell it either time. The first one was for $139,000. The second one was for $132,000. And they didn't move forward with it. She's an average grade on her property in there. Um, I provided three comps. Average grades also that are similar, if not smaller, and one larger. I'll show the end of it. And property sold, and she falls, her assessed value falls right in the middle. She's actually below. We all know. It's in yeah, the on the lower end. Yep. Yeah, of the three. Some of these are pretty hard to build on. They, there are, and I, ha I had a couple. I had a couple gentlemen give me a call about it up there in the Spring Mountain in the Aspen Ridge area, and um, I went out there a few times because there's one property that is just one big solid granite boulder. Mm. How do you do that? <laughs> and he explained the because he owns a lot right next door, and he explained to me how um, how much money. 
an excavation because there was a lot of boulders on his property. Right. You know, and so we try and take those things into consideration. Um, I this is not all of my area because you know how we're filling in for people that have left. So I did walk this area a little bit with the with Bo when he was here. I didn't look at. I was taking pictures. I wasn't paying close attention to the deer lots and things. So I mean, I have an idea of how the property is up there, but I, I for sure don't know where hers is exactly. I'm sure, I walked right by it. <laughs> And we went bare lot, <laughs> average. With a big bo- no, this wasn't one with a big boulder though. No, it? no. Just, I just it's know just, that up in rocky. there. Yeah. I know up there it's, it is rocky, and we do have um, the land uh, grade map there. You could see that you know we've taken it. I know that we've taken in consideration on a lot of those parcels up there. If they sit up a little bit higher and you can oversee the whole valley, there in a good or an excellent, you know, so they've got these beautiful views and they don't have to worry about people in front of them. Just look at the lots. Mm-hmm. You know, so. They're all built on. Almost all of them are built on, it seems like. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah they, just, uh, they overcome the rocks. Yeah. Hey, what's your pleasure? Now I move to the NIE app appeal number 22136. I'll second. Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Stay right there. Two, two, one. One eleven. I'm sorry, I have to take a quick break. You guys go ahead and keep going if you want. Anthony Little. Hmm. Here comes somebody else with another armload of paper. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this. We should have brought our sleeping bags. Huh? <laughs> so. What's your, what's your appraisal initial? What's it? My appraisal N A. N A. Okay. Non applicable. Non applicable. Or green. I doubt June feels that way. When I put SLM, everybody thinks it's St. Luke's McCall, so don't feel bad. <laughs> This one's in the same subdivision, Aspen Ridge subdivision, phase two. Anthony Little, appeal number NA22111. This gentleman is located on lot six. His uh, parcel is an average land grade and consists of 0.925980. So his comparables come from a land appraisal report that was conducted in September of 2021. First one is 0.4259 acres with the average land grade we used in our analysis. And if we find trended out, it comes in at 222,500. Look at the comp sheet, it'll show you what sold for sold for 178 in July his second comp is in Aspen Ridge phase two just like his it's 0. 0.7906 average land grade very similar to his we did use it in our analysis and it was purchased in May for 245 and it time trends out to 330. Third comp is in Spring Mountain, 
Ranch, Block 15, Lot 1. It's 0 0.5250. It's a good land grade. And we also had that in our analysis with one grade higher than his grade of land average. Purchase for 179 and at time trends out to 232,700. We had another one in Aspen Ridge, 0.7675, average land grade. Sold for 218 in, with an excellent land grade, which is two grades above the average. Sold in June, 0.311 on an acre. It's sold for 218, time trends out to 283. He has a much larger lot than the parcels provided. In my, um, I had a lot of comparables with his, and he falls right in that time trend. I think the problem people are having is they're looking at these sales and they're not understanding that time trend. You know, they, I mean, what else sold within that time period? I can say nice. that out of all the appeals that I have, only two people. The appeals and talk to them and explain that to them and they understood it yeah. but they still didn't agree with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I said it was there them. you know so they'll be coming in to see us yeah but everybody else that we are going through today they didn't call I couldn't explain it to them I couldn't talk to them I didn't do the phone calls or sent it up. I mean it time trends out that's the problem it's the market got hot last year, and it flat just escalated. You yeah. couldn't buy things, and there's not enough ground out there right now. So I'm all moved in. We um, deny in a two two one three six. Two two one. Oh, two two one one. Put it, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, wrong Anthony. one. In a two two one one one. I'll second that. I'll just second all favor, please. Say aye. 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 think the other thing that people are struggling with is they think the market's going to dip and it might stabilize but there is no prophecy that's going to tell us what's going to happen there's there's not enough ground out there right now there's not lots for sales so i don't see them dropping either so no and i don't think we even if we have a nationwide thing i don't we, this area probably is not going to be affected no, i agree i agree where are we going next boss two two one three two same page. Donald and Pamela Sand uh, Woodlands. Bear with me. I have to sue. Now I have to <sighs> Those guys are long term, long time friends of mine as well. I think I <laughs> That's might... the problem with this job. I <laughs> when you've been here for too long. You know a lot of people. Yeah. <clears throat> It's up to you, Ed. You have to decide if you have a conflict or not. Uh, the I, biggest I, thing is, I, I know I was a lot thinking of about that after that last night. I feel like I'm being fair, right? but I do like it. A little, it's closed. Absolutely. Yeah. And and that, that's yeah. great. That's yeah. A, <clears throat> I know a lot of people. I feel for these people. I really yeah, do. Yeah, you do. And I mean, if I would have sold them the ground, I would definitely disclose or I would remove myself from it. Right. That, that's, being a friend, we're friends with that's a kind of lot of people. That's kind of makes it Yeah. Wondering, he's just appealing his land values. This doesn't have. He has got an improvement on it. An improvement on it. But he's just appealing the land part. Just the land part. Yeah. It says based on similar lot size lots in the city of McCall that are sold in twenty one, my quarter acre lot in the middle is estimated. Did he give us comps? Yeah. Oh, Sue helped me. Put some of these, so I'm gonna muddling through this one right now. <laughs> I got a letter here. So this is Donna Donald and Pamela Sanda, located in the Woodlands at 639 Woodlands Drive in McCall. Their property is 0.2593 average land grade. The parcel has a home on it of 23,324 square foot, built in 1994 with an average in average condition. It has a 14 by 26 average attached garage and a 12 by 24 uh, carport. And 
and the appellant is appealing the land value. Subject property is in the 139800 neighborhood. You can see how he's jumped significantly, and that's why he's just appealed, pretty much appealing his land. He offered six comps. None of the appellant's comps are in the same neighborhood as the subject, so he went outside his neighborhood area. Um, he went to Lick Creek Meadows, which is north of him, found 0.215 acres of average land grade <clears throat> that sold this year, which um, has not been reported to our office as of yet. And if it is, then we will use it in next year's analysis. The next one that he provided is on in the Seaway subdivision, north of him again, 0.2757 average land grade. Parcel sold in August of 21 for 179.9. We did use this in our analysis, and if you time trend it out, it goes um, 215. His third comp uh, could not find the parcel, so the legal description on the comp sheet was in error, was unable to find it. Use it. Comp four was in the Aspen Ridge subdivision, again, north of the subject. 0.8138 of an acre in a good land grade. It sold in October 21 for 150000 The sale was not reported to our office, so we did not use it. So if they're not reported, we can't use them and help them out. But if you do time trend that out from the day that it was sold, it comes to 172500 Comp number five is in the Lick Creek Meadows again. 2024 acres with an average land grade and it sold in August for 135,000 time trend that out to 162 and he's also north of the subject. His final comp that he provided was again in Lake Creek Meadows it's 0.188 acres with average land grade it sold in right in January of 22 so it hasn't been reported to our office and if we do receive analysis for next year. Uh, how would you comp something, Noreen? Lick Creek Meadows doesn't have a community center. They have a community center. They have tennis courts. Woodlands does? Yeah, it does. That I did not know. I, don't know that, I didn't know that the Woodlands had all that. And I think they have a pool. Doesn't the wood, Woodlands have a pool? I think the... I don't know for sure on that. Where do they have all this stuff? I think they have yeah, a pool. big parcel right there? The, Again, this is yeah, right. Yeah, there's a pool. Oh, there is a pool. Look at that water. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I, I've never been up to that sure yet. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I've never really been so into that. These well, that are the whole, comps provided by the appellant. Also, so um, and they're. I mean, even if they're contesting their land grade, they're sitting right in with the comps that they provided with the right. time trend yeah. out. Yeah, and Lick Creek Meadows is a whole different feel. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one one of the problems these guys are having. I think, if I heard right from yesterday, is there's only about half of the sales have been actually recorded. That is our, that's so the it's hard to find. Hugest problem. Comps. It's our, it's, it's our office's yeah. number one problem. Yeah. And it's hard to let people know that. Yeah. I mean, I had one lady call me and she would not, I said, I cannot do anything for you when I do not know what you purchased your land for. Period. Yeah. I said, I have one that are reported you bought it way under what I'm showing, had you reported yours, probably would be less. Yeah. Because it would be put into the analysis. It's, pro it's, yeah. it's a struggle. It is a problem for this yeah. whole process. Uh, it's a struggle. So, well, I would move to decline appeal 22132. I'll, I'll second that. <clears throat> Sorry, Don. Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Yeah, if you take the homeowners off, it's not too bad. Yeah, all right. You know, I was, there was a few places in McCall doing the tax estimator that they did go up a couple hundred. Um, didn't see much over a couple hundred, actually. So I have gone up. And it depended on what taxing district you were in in, in McCall. Mm. It wasn't all of them. I value one up two hundred fifty thousand. I think my taxes went up two hundred, two hundred or three hundred. So I mean, it's like. Yeah. I hope mine go down. 
I bet all the rich realtors paid the taxes. <laughs> what day? What day year over there? He's like hoping this goes down. Do you notice all yeah. the appraiser's taxes go down every year? I don't understand how that works. I think farmers it's have got all the right these bennies anyway. You know? <laughs> burn, burn red, red burn diesel red. and stuff like that. Yeah, we get all the tax breaks. <laughs> <laughs> she sure did. Good job, Jen. You get an extra cookie for the day. And you were supposed to do a little better for me, though. I'm surprised my wife isn't sitting in the front seat. <laughs> hey, our next one is 22193. Oh, 22193. That's on page five. Michael Herb. I'm not sure. And this is on Burt Wagon Trails. Burnt Wagon. So that's over in CR also? Yes, those are in the CRs also. 350% increase in value. This has been an area trail. that hadn't been looked at in a little while. Is, why, is that why maybe some of these are going up so quickly? or This is an area that um, for a very long time did not have any. No road. Like, I mean, the map shows that there's a road, but there really isn't a road. Mm. And it became a very popular spot as soon as somebody decided to cut in some goat trails to some of those properties. There is a property north of this northwest of this gentleman, right towards the town. And that goes back to a rated Um, one of these two. Maybe it's up a little higher. But anyways, it, it, I believe it's on my comp sheet. They just got wrapped up, and all of a sudden, people were buying these what we had as very fair, poor, no access to them. There wasn't even a road cut from anywhere. Yeah. Burnt Wagon, actually, near the tip where it does that um, 180, <laughs> the map shows that this is a road, but it, it wasn't there years ago it was not there you got to the end of that and it was a waterfall hmm. talking with people i've heard that somebody has cut that road in I, I go out once every five years and i haven't had time to go back out there and make that back but it became a very hot little area there's a couple sales in there there's one for 155,000. there's uh, two acres for like 80,000 or something um this gentleman didn't provide any comps. He just, again, provided his comp a purchase agreement from the One Horse Properties. So we've all probably seen these come in the mail. Oh, <laughs> wanting to buy your property, sign here. So <laughs> one horse I have two of these. Yeah. <laughs> They've become very popular in Valley County. And this is the second one I've heard of people using as a comparable for their property. One Horse Properties. <laughs> so the subject, um, again, I, I didn't get to talk to him, and we have we have the comps in there. Um, the very top one, one point three five seven five, sold for two hundred seventeen. We don't even have to time trend that out, and it falls right where it is. So, all so in, does know, his have good access? Oh, really? his has excellent. I, yeah, okay. his his yeah. The road goes right to his. Oh, okay. Okay. right on the corner. He has a corner lot, and it goes. Mm -hmm. It drives right by yeah. his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Well. Yeah. I think you did a great a this, job. A lot of this land is owned has been owned for many, 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 many years and generations. Um, I actually got to speak with one person that said that Barnes, Mr. Barnes, that created Barnes West Subdivision, gave his parents a parcel as a wedding gift. I mean, I learned a lot this year about Burt Wagon Trail. <laughs> My husband's grandparents won at auction the very first three lots at God's Acres. Oh, how great. See, I just learned so really? much. This has been kind of a little bit of a tough area for planning all along. Because it's tough for No, I need a motion to deny. I need to whatever. deny appeal 22193. Yeah, I'll, I'll second. second. Oh. Oh, go ahead. I'll second it. Moved in second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. So I know a lot of these lots um, are 
large enough to meet setback. I know that. Yeah. Now, can they perk? Septic yeah, it's up in old, and a lot of them are using them just for summer tent camps. Well, and if they go and have it done and it doesn't perk, they're going to get a septic reception. I can't reception. read that with my glasses. You know, and yeah. that too septic exception. They need to have that work done. Yeah, that area is what trust yeah. us in doing I can't doing read that with my glasses. Oh, one it's thing I have concerns on over here is there's no fire district. No sewer either. This is down, this is down the south end of the lake. Mm -hmm. Right in the middle. In the middle, north of God's Bottom, Acres. My, it's north of God's Acres. Yeah. In God's Acres and Tamworth. So all that stuff down here in the south end was owned originally by a guy by the name of Nolt Allen. And his son Pat was one of our county commissioners years ago. Okay, the next one is NA22205. <laughs> Landlocked? Two 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 zero five. Which page are we on? I can't seem to find it. JST properties. Hmm. So they indicate that there's no access, landlock, wildlife corridor. There's a wildlife corridor. Um, not sure what they mean by it. If they were to put a septic system in, they'd have to. Large, mm, 3 .2 large lot, yeah, 3.27 acres in average mm. condition. So they own the property just next west, to it. right next to it, contiguous oh. to it, 140. So there is access to it by them. <laughs> um, now, if they were to sell it, Story. Well, yeah, is, you're ta we talking about that center one there? It is landlocked? That's yeah. Right, we're that one right there. Yeah, it would be landlocked if they were to. Yeah. Yeah. They need to combine those properties. So they? they own three of them in there, and. What's the one on the right? So. Oh, What's wow. That? that one as well? Interesting. That one must be. You got to go. Owned by Puffins. Hmm. That's the open. You got to reduce the size of the whole thing. Hmm. So, um, with that being said, that I mean, it's yes, it's a parcel that is it is landlocked per se, hmm. but the person that owns it also owns the contiguous lot right to the west, so they do have access to it. Yeah, but the problem going forward, he really can't. It makes it unsellable. You know, if he right. So can we force a combination on this That's, in uh, some way? This is rural land. They could they could possibly do a combination. They're also within the impact zone. Um, this would have to go through McCall and through Cinda to combine it well, officially to combine it. Um, and they, they would have to find out if it was the ramifications of combining if it would ever be able to shop on us. But I don't think they have to actually combine it to do the combined tax, though, right? So, this the rural's a little bit different than with subdivisions. The lot lines, I mean, oh. the lot lines mm. will change, I believe, with the rural piece of land, whereas in a subdivision, it's platted and the lot lines stay underneath. Well, this is a subdivision, isn't it? No, this is rural it's land. Not? And the and the property that he has next to it, I it's also yeah, rural. It's rural. Yes. Well, it's in the impact area, so it's I mean technically it's in the impact area. So yeah. In a different section. Yeah. Well. Eighteen. Oh, that might be why they. That well, might be why this one is in seventeen. Seventeen. So they may not be able to. Formally. formally combine those, they might. They, they, never, called. they never called, so I can't really? talk to them. Oh. Well, so we probably need to research that with McCall a bit because, I mean, if we have a landlocked parcel That's that tough. can't be combined, then that changes the value. It changes a lot because they really couldn't sell it. You know? 
I mean, they could Unless sell they, both they of could, them together. I mean, they could sell yeah. it and provide they easement from their property. Easement, but yeah. They yeah. Could. I mean, there's ways around it. That's what I'm saying. Is, their property. You know, they would have to, you yes. know, they could cut a road on their lot line on the south end that goes right to that property. Yeah. You know, and then they would get a decreased easement on their yeah. value on our end. You know, there is, there are ways around it that could be sold. Mm -hmm. I, well, I agree with all of that, Noreen. I think if we look at it in the existing state, mm -hmm. because again, we can't prophesize what could happen in the future. So right. it's in the existing state, um, it would have to be sold with the adjoining parcel to give it value. Or with right. an easement. Or an easement. Okay. I don't know what to do with that one. June, they go to Chad Drive now, though, don't they? I mean, this other parcel goes screw up to Chad Drive. Right? No, no, no. There's no. There's no. Picture, I'm trying to find it off this. Picture. Where do they come into their property? It should be labeled their picture. So they come down. They go Chad and then drop down on Coy, and it's on the left hand side. Where's their other? Their second lot. It's where the arrow is right now. And the first one that is the, kind so of the one we're talking. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's, that's there's, there's off a of Coy Road. The one we're talking about is that one in the center of the landlocked one, right? Yeah. Yeah. The parcel that they, the parcel that they are um, talking about is that one, and the parcel in the picture out is the one that's a listing that they provided. See there, in this picture here, it shows a road on the west side. Is that an easement to that parcel? I'm thinking yes. that might just, I don't know if it's an easement or if it's just some lot line mapping that needs to be. It's going to be an easement there. to that lot. Because that other one above it, that's part of that other lot. So it has to be an easement. an easement to it. And then I think there's an easement. To it. Click but, on that little tiny box. And, but there's no easement to this one unless that. Oh, think about what about that little line that comes down, the long line, skinny one. That'd be an awful big easement, wouldn't it? So that's that's owned by someone else. Hmm. I, you know, you know, you guys if, to decide that. Yeah, along Travis. Okay, so yeah, they have some kind of an easement. They have that, and they have that, and then this is. That's the JS. Oh, okay. JST. Look at that. one more. Well, they don't share that easement. Is yeah. No. JST. Okay. But the easement only comes They're to that lot and right don't really there. come through to the all the way Yeah, they around. can come off Coy Road to that lot. This I don't, one. It's this they one. own both of them, and they, can, they, they as the owners, have access to it. Lot. Yeah, just because yeah, the they can still people. have access. They, got they can't sell. They Coy Road through their other lot, and they would have Unless an they easement can. to it. That's what Sherry's saying right now, though. What Even though they own it right now. Yeah. They have they have access to it. They we have, have to you know, judge it on you know what's what's currently in place. Yeah. What's we the could, skinnier one right to the left of that? That's what I was. Yeah. What's that long skinny one? Is right? that no, one? no, no, the, the skinny one. to the left in of the building. Those two. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's somebody's property. That, that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. that's not. That's part of the subdivision, some way. No, it's rural land. Oh. Where's the owner on it? Arrow. There is no owner. No I'm owner wondering if that's right here. Hold on, because that, that could be the MH that's been demolished. And well, that's the ahead. neighbor. Yeah. Hmm. So I would suggest that we consider for at least this tax year to do something there, but I would think it, so has, too. it needs to go to planning to kind of resolve that. But, yeah, one of the things that we could do, I could do a valued as if combined within the system uh -huh. without, because we do it with rural and um, subdivision lots, mm -hmm. so, or even uh, since these are in two separate rural townships mm -hmm. or sections, sections, usually they cannot be officially combined, but in the system, in our ProVal system, it can be. Unfortunately, these people oh. never called me. Yeah. <laughs> That's Can what we I write would... them a letter and state this is a one-time deal? 
And next year we will have to separate this if you don't legally combine these lots or provide some type of an access to so, a landlocked lot. I mean, we could do, yeah. yeah that would be, a really, I think, a really reasonable approach, at least for this year. And it I gives them a year to get that closed up. Yeah. My biggest thing with this is if they, being rural, should we cut that off? Being rural in two separate sections, is there a survey that would help? Or is that a simple question? That's more of a simple question. But we can definitely value these as if combined, mm -hmm. which we have. We have mm -hmm. on certain properties. Marie can go do when she's finished. She can go do a what if. She can come back with that new value. And you can um, yeah. decide if you want to that new value and then a letter will be sent letting them know what we did of course. i think that's yeah i think that's a good resolution on this one so, so what do we do mr it. chairman table this one until just hold it until she can come back hold up. It until it's later in the process okay, okay. so we're going to table this one and we hear back from noreen you want this back doug doesn't get it so this will Right back, I think. Not right back, but shortly. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> you got two two zero four. Is that what I heard uh, you 2204. say? Two two zero four. Front page. Hurlbut. Albert. Ivan. Herbert. You gonna trade this too? Hawk. I'm gonna hold mine until yeah. they come back. Two two two. I'm sorry. Two two zero four. Doug, first page about got it. Fifth, Thank fourth you. one down. How did I figure that out so fast, huh? Hell in my back sitting here this many days. I know I've been sitting here. This is a nice thing. Oh, I think I gave it. I need that one if I could buy a piece of property for three hundred grand in one year, went up a hundred grand. That's a good investment. Oh, I uh, <clears throat> sold my nephew a piece with a house two years ago at four seventy five, and it's worth a million four. Nice. Would you do that for me? If I would only have done it myself. <laughs> we look back at a lot of those things. And go, oh my gosh! Why did that? Get, what it could should let that go for that? Wow, this is an easy peasy one too. You guys read. Say. He's living within the times. I guess the only one that is, what's well, a good grade instead of very good. <laughs> I like that. I paid three hundred thousand for this dirt. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about our comp. That let me see what. The one that's one acre, 245000 So you're just valuing it based upon... I just kind of wanted to... The size. Yeah, this... And it's an excellent double. grade, too. It's in an excellent grade. It's almost two acres. Oh, his must be right on the pond versus... Because this other one is not directly on the pond. Oh, oh. Yes, there he is. So she... Got it. Yeah. I actually... I didn't speak with Ivan. I spoke with him. I believe, uh, Anita, and she she was like, it's just dirt. But on the lake, yeah. What is just that? doing and Rio Vista. <laughs> she was trying to Slot tell me, yeah. telling me that this wasn't nicer. desirable, and it took yeah. a special person to buy this. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's awesome. Yeah. I moved to deny appeal. Yeah, or I don't have the four. signature page. Second that. Like that says. Oh, no. Unless I've lost it. Really? We have a motion to die. Get a second? Yes. Who did second? All in favor, please say aye. 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 And this is on 2204. Thank you.
Oh, you need to get over all of these. Saving them for years, just for What's years. What's the number, Noreen? 260. Two six zero. Two six zero. Two two. Oh, two six zero. Sorry. Two two. Two six zero. Oh, top one. John Whitman. I still can't find it. Oh, I can't find it either. Thank you. Oh, it's two 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 six zero. Three twos. Up of the page. Yeah, really not that close to quitting time, El. No, <laughs> I'm just craving it now. What page did you guys find it on? Like Where in the heck is it? Very top one. Page Over eight. John Whitman. John Whitman. This is in Hawks Bay. Oh, goodness. So go ahead. Located at 13108 Hawks Bay Road. Land consists of 0.3926 of an acre and an average good grade. I believe he's in the pave. This is in the pave system. So he's right on the road. He's right near the road. Hmm. But he's not on the lakeside, right? Yeah. He's on the roadside. Oaks Bay, one of right next to that curve. Very close to the big log, log structure, yeah. One of the subdivisions that owns about half of the lake around there. So, he provided <laughs> four comps, and all of his comps. This is his, uh, Sue helped me prepare this. Two out of the four are comps from 22, so of course those will be used in next year's analysis. And the comp three and four are the ones from this year. And then comp one is at 13146 Hawks Bay, <coughs> 0.3759 of an acre, very close, average good. Um, the sale was not reported to us, it happened in December. Yep. We did not use it in our analysis. So tell me, tell me about, and I should have asked this earlier, but when you guys are saying uh, these will be used in next year's analysis, why should we not use those right now as commissioners when looking at this value? I mean, if there is anything, <coughs> that's up to you. <laughs> that is up to you. The problem is, is with every property that changes ownership, we send a letter out a letter congratulating them and we send a sales letter requesting that information and so they don't have to return so it. in the other you do not have to return it no. the other side of that if you were to use next year's sales to determine that as commissioners please remember that that might not be so fair and equitable next year you have to go use it last year's because this is last year's values last year's value so then if you're going to, going to allow the 22s to have their comparables this year because of the thing that happened six months of the year, all of the people out there that aren't doing that um, hmm. assessment based upon things that happened yeah. the year. And it'd be really awkward if we were to shift gears right now. Stay the course. Yeah. Well, and I am looking at, I mean, exact same size, sold last year, time sale, you know, for the time adjustment, it's still over what his property is. That's number four on the, or number five number on the five. list? Five. Yeah. Even if you use the sales price, you're still over what he is. Right. And he bought his last year and didn't report the sale. That's why there's this. Yeah, so looks to me like he's against what you've used for value. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty fair. I agree. In 
and you also have to remember, I mean, I understand that um, this, the subdivisions, you know, the bigger subdivisions like that, you want to be as close as you can to the sale prices that happened within that subdivision. But when sales aren't forthcoming to us and we have very little to go off, we have to broaden our area to be fair and equitable to the larger area of that neighborhood or even mm -hmm. that section that we're going to eval with. Has a hard job. Well, that is tough. So, much pleasure. I'll move what we deny. This bill number, whatever it was. N2260. Two, two, six, zero. Two, six, no. No, no. Have a second? I'll second it. Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> that is all I have for you folks until I go back and research AST property. Okay. okay. So we'll see you later today. Yes, I will be back. I think. Okay. So who's the next shark coming up? Boy. Jennifer. Jennifer, can we just take two minutes? Yep. You guys need a break? Yeah, it'd be good to be up for a minute. <clears throat>
All right, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Jennifer, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Thank you. So the first one up is... What's our number? JB22198. It's on page six. Second one from the top. 22198. Jericho Investment. And this is in Brundage Drive, River Sub. Yes, at 509 Brundage Drive. Um, oh. The property owner stated that he purchased this property on February 4th, 2022, for $410,000. Um, he submitted the purchase and sale agreement. That's the market behind. Um, stating that there were restrictions to the property, therefore he thought the price should be reduced. <laughs> um, so I called him today and spoke with him and kind of explained what qualifies as a qualified sale, really. It has to be arms an arm's length transaction. Um, so this agreement's actually with his, his mother who still has access to the property, um, which kind of explains why the price might be lower than normal because it's not market value. Um, but I told him I would still present it because he did put you know work in. Um, he did not provide any comparable sales. Um, so I've attached details for your consideration. So the only restriction that I can see, Jennifer, is that apparently that he has some elderly, what, parents that are allowed to live at the property for the balance of their lifetime and, or until they cannot live there. That is correct, mate. That's not really a restriction that would reduce your value. Okay. Um, so I pulled three comps in the area, all fair grades broke it out per square foot. Um, the home's actually, you know, it comes in at $109.15 per square foot, where our comps in the same grade are coming in at $134, $129. Yeah, he's getting his mother. Video. Purchased from his mother. Got that. Okay. I would move to deny appeal 22198. I'll second it. Who to second all in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Back there. I'm kind of wondering, I have four kind of the same owner. Do you guys prefer doing them all at once or is they... They're all right there together, aren't they? Is it two, 11, 12, and what other one? Thirteen is a different name. That's oh, nope. What number are we talking about? Eleven, twelve, and what was the other one? Other two? Two eleven, two twelve, and two thirteen. Twenty-two. Um, by it's name. On the same page. Eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. Is this HCMF acquisitions is the same as Ellen Taylor and Eklund, Penwell Revocable Trust? They filed this the, the same. Um, we could go if to HCM acquisitions first. Okay. If that helps. Sure. Yep. So we're going to do two 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 one three. And two 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 one ten. One ten. There we go. They're not together on our page. That's there the we go. Hmm. Just to be clear, though, Jen, they're two separate appeals. Mm -hmm. They're all for the same reason. One's on the land value, one's on the. So we probably better split them up. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, if we can take them each yep. one up individual. Sorry. Well, let's do 22210 first. Okay. HCMF acquisitions. And is this one you have up yet? I can't get it. To... Um, so he's just giving us a chart of this one. I can't get anything up on this one. This is a two zero nine Hubert Street in Hall, Idaho. Provided, they provided their response in regards to um, our market and where they thought we should be at. Um, the property owner did not provide comparable sales at all. This is next to the hospital? It's not, not in there. Hmm. HCMF acquisition. Isn't part mm -hmm. of the hospital, is I'm it? I'm surprised that didn't belong yeah. to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, because they had bought one right behind there. So this is um, a residential lot, um, 0 0.2920 acres that is graded as an average. Uh, the home is 1,824 square feet and is graded as an average. The dwelling was built in 1939 and has an effective age of 1995. So they've done quite a bit of work. Uh, below are the values for the last three years. Um, looking over their, their dwelling, they're coming in at $170.15 price per square foot. Well, no, this is pretty obvious. Yeah, he is not as far out as most of us. And these are our comps, right? Yes, it's a three. So, um, one that was built in '92, an area of 1346, has an adjusted sale of 607, 700. Coming right out in the middle of them. Actually, it's a little low if you did it on a square foot basis, but. I think the land value is the higher part of it. Yeah. Compared to the other land value. It's the largest one of the one. Uh, the other. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to make a motion. We deny uh, DB22210. A second. Who did second? And all in favor say aye. 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 Motion count carries. Hospital's trying to buy employee housing right in there. Cost them yeah, over I was, half a million. I'm surprised the hospital don't own that one. Actually, God packed everything on that block, don't you? Okay. Yeah, they don't actually. Mm. They you want to do JB? Destroyed the one that they needed. Two one three now. Yeah. They're trying to buy employee housing. Yeah. Hey, where whatever you want to do. Okay. Two two one. Yeah. It wouldn't be, wouldn't it? It'd be a really sweet location. Yeah. By the way, I really like your cost per square foot on your spreadsheet. I think that's a great addition. Yeah, that helps a lot. Hey, we're going to do appeal number 22211, Ellen Taylor, Anquin and Crenwell, Evocable, Irrevocable Trust. Go ahead, Jen, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, kind of same preparation they did not submit any comparable sales just their um, thoughts on the market so I've attached their lots in the area um, I do have 206 West Lake Street and it consists of 2861 acres that's graded as a good uh, we were able to locate a sale a uh, couple parcels down on Lake Street as well Sold July 28th, 21 for 279,900. So I feel we're right in line.
outside if it's not a little tender in that cell. Exactly. I move right. to decline uh, 22 to 11. I'll second that. Moved and second all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Yeah. Figured you'd get in there. This is 22 to 12. Thank you. You want yep. some? I get tons of uh, paper clips if you need them. I might. This is the neighboring house at uh, 208 West Lake, Lake Street. Wait, I'm sorry. 208 West Lake Street. They're at another bear lot. So, same scenario you as the one before with sell that sold a couple lots fast. It's the same comps? Same comps. It's identical in size and grade as the one we just presented. So I'll make a motion we deny JB22212. Second. In a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. There's a ton of new work going on there too. So, I mean, all those lots along there are probably going to go up more. A whole new subdivision going in there. Yeah, we're going to do next to State Street. Looks pretty good. Thank you. It's kind of interesting. It's just dead dark, north slope. Hey, we're going to the next page. To JB22213 HCMF Acquisitions. Which number was that? Uh, Next page, 22213. This has a property on it, a house on it. Uh, this is at, located at 211 Hewitt Street in the Hall on 0. 0.2920 acres. Created as average. The home is 1,548 square feet and is also graded as an average. Uh, the dwelling was built in 1965 and has an effective age in 1990. No comparable sales were provided. And you've done a very good job with keeping everything. I mean, if anything, I think that these are $25,000 low. So I think that these people have already, you know, gotten a great deal on these. So I would move to deny 22, 213. I'll second that. Thank you. I move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I don't blame them for complaining, but they come in and don't give you anything much to go on. I just don't like it. Well, and where they're at, they're yeah. in prime. They are. Prime location. Mm -hmm. They may get a little bit of noise from the hospital with those houses, yeah, but, but I mean, that's, everybody's looking for that product. There's, there's been some complaints about that burner or whatever they got in there, making it sound like it didn't be correct and cost what it was, but. Is it construction? No, sound? it's just something that one that burner they put in, the heating machine or whatever it is, or. 22269. Like it makes noise. Next page. This is Charles Buckle, Four Seasons Sub. What number was this? 22269. 269. They've got them on the front of these two. I think they're, if you, she gives you that, help look on the other this machine. So this is a bare lot? It is. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what Four Seasons is. Four I thought it's the point. Uh, Crown Point. Their access. Um, oh. Ten Lakes Ranch. 298% increase? Yeah, but I mean, that was way undervalued before. At 38.5, I couldn't have sold that. Okay. How long ago? Okay, let's look at comps. Alrighty. Um, so, 
Mr. Over. Buckle's property is 0.576 rated as an average. We have an uh, assessed value of 115,045. 115,045. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, so if you hear um, 0.5008 acres, it's a time adjusted sale price of 1.74,000. Another one that I wanted to really point out was um, the one on 44 Red Leaf Drive, which is that middle comp, 0.6524 acres. Um, this lot is uh, not maintained in the winter, and I don't have a view of the lake or anything, and it sold for 105000 I'm adjusted to 130. My question is, are you still within your 10% of, of the 100% for the state? Do you think you're high enough? The ratio? That? I do. Crown Point is difficult. It's difficult. Because, you know, you'll have a lot to sell for. You know, well, it depends low. on how to get to them. As an agent, when you drive out there with people, some of them I'm going, oh, hang really close to me. And other ones, you know, are no problem at all. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. It's, I mean, I, I really feel like this is. A little low. A little low. He's getting well, a good you, deal. Could you go up into that bigger parcel north of the Vista? Yeah, that one. Is that Pine Lakes up there? This one? Yes. Yep, Fred O'Brien. Yeah. That was the piece of ground, if I remember right, that. He was pushing a couple of years ago. That's an easement. It is an easement. It's an LR, so the BOR owns that. And they were trying to get the BOR to say, no, that's ours. We we should be able to develop it. That never, you know, we never heard back on any of that, did we? Mm -hmm. Well, that's really bureau ground. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> he has an easement. He has an easement for cattle to get to the lake for water. That's how they set it up when they built the reservoir. Easement. But they don't need the water because they have irrigation going through there. Hmm. But you're on, I move to deny 22269. Squirreling. I'll second that motion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 aye motion carries. Hmm. Jen, what's your next one? All right, uh, 278. Mountain West IRA. Over Fox Fur. Oh, thank you. Silver Fox Fur. Oh my Silver gosh. Fox. Oh, this is. heard about this place enough. This is way out there. Hmm. I know you've said it several times. Can you say the appeal one more time? Sorry. 22278. Two, Thank you. Oh. I think we're getting something. Hmm. 200,000, huh? Because she has a well and septic. Um, Go ahead, Jennifer. Okay. Um, so. Property is located at 520 Silver Fox for her. And acres that is graded as average. Uh, the parcel has a 346 square foot yurt built in 2019, also graded as an average and average condition. Um, the property is to, or the property owner did not provide any comparable sales. Also, in the protest packet, the owner states that the property was purchased in 2021 for 292,000. The time adjusted amount for the sale would be. Um, so they bought it for two hundred and ninety-two, but they want to have it appraised at two hundred. <laughs> Do we need to spend any more time on this one? <laughs> would you would you blow that up for me, please, Jim? Jeez, people. I guess it never hurts to ask. But... <laughs> I don't even understand it. It was. It's difficult to get like sales. You know, we're not going to have. But her sale was the comp. I mean, you bought it for more than you're even asking for it to be taxed. Yeah, at. just 
the reason I'm asking is we've been looking for quite a while trying to figure out where this mystery yurt is that everybody can see from all over the valley. We have pictures of it. Is that in the next lot down there? Yeah, that white spot. It's the one that's selected. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking it may be the... There is also another one that just sold that I believe has a yurt on it as well. Yeah, it and just went up last year. You this think one sold in 21, I and then we have another one that sold in 20. I mean, it's, it's really interesting because the whole mountain is just a mountain, and then there, all of a sudden there's this big white shiny spot showed up. Is that it? And, uh, yep, white roof, brown. Mm -hmm. No, this is not it. This one I'm thinking of had a, a huge structure built under it, big deck. You know. No, that's this is not it. That has the same on. kind of a deal. I move to deny two 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 seven eight. I'll second that. This one we're doing here is. Yeah. Move to second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. I mean, I don't blame them putting yurts up. It's just that they had this big silver colored roof that's really for reflecting. I mean, it's like a mirror. That's what you said. I'll have to yeah. drive by there and see that sometimes. But you have to sit in the right sunlight to see the mirror effect. Got it. You can always see the light. Wait a minute, which one is that? <clears throat> 78. Uh, 156. Is this our new appraiser sitting in the back? Yes. I haven't met you yet. I'm Sherry. Nice to meet you. Justine, Ed. We weren't being rude, but we were kind of being rude. I'm just learning. Perfect. I figured you were. We just thought next next year, it's your turn. Yeah. 22156. You only break into hives a little bit. <laughs> we're not that scary. Come on. <laughs> oh, I like you already. See, <laughs> she's not intimidated by it. 22. Two two one five six. This Scott Royal Scott. So this year. About oh, page four. Got two of them. Page four. Got it. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, Jen. Go ahead. No worries. Um, this property is located at twenty one twenty two Christie Road in Donley. I just. You've had quite a few of call uh, calls. Quite a bit of calls in Royal Scott area. They've increased um, upwards of 400000 this year. Um, we do have a few personal appearances scheduled, so I just want guys to take a look at the sales, feel comfortable with her data. Um, so he can walk onto the Tamarack property, and yet he's concerned that his property value is going up, with everything that's going on there. And again, I think the biggest concern we're explaining the 5% time so adjustment. They just don't like it. I understand that. I don't like it either, even as a real estate agent. I'm just appalled at what's happened. But people are selling their properties. People are what's buying their mean? properties. Yeah. You got to buy and a sell. You got property tax increases or property value increases. Um, and we've ha we had plenty of sales in this area that justify this increase. Yeah. Um, we also, the third one down of the county comp, um, that one sold June 9th, 2021 for 310700 It sold again in April of this year for 340000 That's why yeah. it's necessary, why we have to use that time adjustment. Yeah. I move to deny appeal 22156. Second. Who just second all favor, please say aye. Aye. We have another lot right there. He does. Um, unfortunately, he's really contiguous with. Gentry didn't call me this year. He just filed his appeal. And I might, <coughs> after this, give him a call and see if he wants to combine the lots in the future. Probably not. I mean, I wouldn't do it if I was him because. Look, not there. Not right there. Yeah, they're worth a fortune right there. You're a bare lot. What will you have it for, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, unless he's going to keep them long term. Yeah. He's going to keep them. That's a whole different conversation. Right. 
He's got pr the most prime yeah, property on West Mountain. 157. Okay, the next one up is AB22157. Very similar deal, it looks like. Same kind of scenario. 3053. Everything else even comes up higher. Well, except one average. What's the one right so next to it? Jeremy. Oh, well, that's personal. parents, I bet, or family. Has got yeah, it's, you really can't, can't get that. Uh, those guys, I mean, you can't change much there. Because other neighbors would be suing us. Do you even need to hear it? Mr. Chairman, I move to deny 22157. Second. Make this too easy, Jennifer. Move right. second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Dash two two three, three investments. <coughs> twenty two. Oh, they are also in Royal Scott. Property is located at 2135 West Mountain Road. Um, again, they, they provided a suitable comp, but with the time adjustment. Um, I mean, Tamarack has blossomed with the addition of the 3,000 acres. If they get that approved, these lots are going to be worth a great investment for these folks. Yeah. I'll move that we deny appeal number JB 22223. I guess that 22223. Two, two, you guys got to slow down. I can't sign and keep all this straight. Hey, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit behind you guys. So. All right. Case my mood to say, all in favor, okay. please say aye. 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 Well, it's, it's easy to move Four. faster on these because what I've seen is that people have been really, really fair. And if we can repeat the last Absolutely. one, and um, two, 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 three, see something just glares at you. Two hundred twenty three. Well, and they should it's be blessed seven, that they bought them when they did, and they were so cheap because now they are worth a fortune over there. Yeah, and uh, part of part of the reason only part, knew part of that drive to raise these values. Exactly, we only knew. Okay, the next, next one is uh, JB22224, one right down below. Ooh. And Ben's done a great job. Don't tell her. Yeah, don't, don't be <clears throat> inflating her ego. <laughs> um, property owner is Jacob Lee. Uh, 2123 Christie Road in Donnelly as well. Or, in the Royal Scott number five as well. And Mr. Lee provided five convertible sales. Four of the five sales were disclosed in the analysis, while the other was not. And that's due because it wasn't. Again, hmm. 0.5208. Assessed at $333,000. Mm -hmm. That other half acre parcel on your comps is right on. I mean, this is right on. Yep. I move to deny appeal 22224. Second. Who does second? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 
porcelain. These go a lot faster than the person who would want to argue. That's why we're going to do it a lot. How are you doing, Doug? Are we getting too far ahead? No. Right there now. Don't you lose that now? We're zipping through them now. But don't tell her. We don't want her to know. She just walked in, too. <laughs> I'm bragging on one appraiser. I got to brag on all of them. She's got, she it's doing a great in. job this year. Jennifer, can you repeat that one more time? 22 23. J3 Investments. I haven't found it yet, Doug. I don't know where it is. It's on the front page. Oh. 23. 23. 23. JB. There it is. Donald Jeanette Cassat. Cassat. Thank you. <coughs> hey. Mission Street. Mission Street. The 425 percent. 703 Mission Street in McCall. Property consists of 0. 0.1240 acres that is graded as average. Property has a 120 square foot shed. We we'll lower the values for the last three years. That's when I spoke with Mr. Cassatt on June 22nd after receiving his email packet. And sent him a copy of the attached sales data spreadsheet as well as a copy of the 22 land ratio study that was performed by the Idaho State Tax Commission, which depicts the necessary 5% inflationary month of loan adjustment. Was there a house on this, John? I'm trying to hold on. Let me catch up here. Uh, it looks like a so little, just very land, small house. Yeah, <laughs> little yeah. tiny shop or shed. By twelve. Where is this? Okay, there it is. Right by the high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're basically using it to pull their camper up to. Mm -hmm. We provided um, four comps. Three of them were in sales in twenty twenty two. Of a sale, point two three six two neighborhood for one eighty five. Time adjusted sell amount of two hundred sixty eight thousand two fifty. You have one sale in August. You're a very prophetic. That might be August of last year, not this year. <laughs> in his sales. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no work. That's a future sale. Yeah. Eyes have been glazing over. I understand 100%. Do you know this guy? He's appraiser for Bannock County? No. Okay. And he's not familiar with this. Okay. Mm, not exactly. Yeah. I think this is fair and reasonable. I think Jennifer did a great job, so I'll make a motion that we. And now the appeal of JB2223. Second that. Who did second? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioners. That's it. Thank you. You want to come up here and take my place so I can go home and take a nap? I'm really <laughs> dying for a nap you. here. Mr. Chairman, can I inquire with our assessor? Do you want us to agenda Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week for BOE? Certain Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Um, be safe, do you want us to do? We can cancel Friday if we don't need okay, it. Okay, we're just trying to get the yes. agenda out. And Please agenda, and then hopefully we can cancel it. Okay, thank you. So, in the range back, are we going to go back and do 22205? Let's see if I put that one to the side. Which one is that again, Mr. Chairman? Two, 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 zero, five. Where is William Lee? Yes, he at one forty four road. Yep. 
Look at the land. AST Properties LLC, Coy Road. <coughs> The landlocked property, JST contiguous, one four zero Coy Road. And if you, the papers that I handed to you, if you look at the worksheet column, far right, next to the column on the left, the difference. One would be valued as if combined. We value it as if combined. Their property on Coy Road increases from 239.151 on the land to 280.216. For both and, lots. Me, for both for lots. For both lots, right. Because gotcha. what happens is we pull out that one acre home site off of the one they're appealing. <laughs> and so it turns into what we call a buffer. And then we have to take that buffer and add it in a sense to their Coy Road mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. So what I was going to do instead of sending a letter, I was going to call first. We may table, I'm not sure how we want to do this. We may table it first again and then call them, see if we're in the agreement of it, and then do it a paper appeal. Or does it still need to remain as this? How, I don't. But if we do this, he may not appeal it, right? Well, what I'm thinking is, because then if the, you guys say this is the value we would like to present to you, and this is what the commissioners agree with, they still have that opportunity to take it to BTA if they don't. He could withdraw his appeal. Is that true? Withdrawing because we're it. after the date. We're changing his appeal. Do we right. need to go ahead and deny know. his request? But if we do that, then it stays on the, the value. Right. So I just I, I just fear sometimes people, um, I've suggested valuing us if combined to a lot of people or combining their parcels, and they absolutely do not want to do this. And I, they, I don't know if they don't understand when I explain it to them. Mm. It's for tax and assessment purposes only. Um, so that's why I, I, I did not call them. I just wanted to see if there was something that you guys were going to agree with first well. and then give them a call to let them know because I don't want to go and change it. And they go, well, why did you guys change it? <laughs> yeah, we, we shouldn't put ourselves in the, in the position of resolving this issue. We should just, you, you know, should, it brings you should it, probably from uh, your office. Well, oh, and it brings it down, to, you know, do, by doing so, it does bring it down to their suggested market yeah, value of that right. 30000 on that property. Yeah. It does increase their other one a little bit also. Yeah. So that's where I don't know. They didn't appeal their other property. They just appealed this one. But we're increasing the other one. So that's why I'm... I'd try and get a hold of them. Yeah. Hold of them first, I mean, and we can table this maybe. Just let them make, be the decider. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess at this moment in time, I mean, we have the option of taking their appeal and amending the value, correct? So we could amend the value if they don't agree to it, then we can just decline all of it and move on. Yeah. That's, correct? That's well, the new value would be 34086 correct? On that one, but it also increases the one they're not appealing. Right. So that's why I'm... Okay. I would try and call them, see if you can get a hold of them. I just wanted to, you know, before I did... I called them to make sure that it was something that yeah. makes sense. You guys are in agreement. Okay. Well, yeah, but they're gaining. We'll table this one and tell. 233,000. Yeah. Okay, so we'll table this one again until we hear back from you today or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay? Okay. No. Okay, so this one is still tabled. Who we got in the wings here? So, uh, where are we going next, June? Um, oh. Whoever wants to, I'm just going to go back. I do have. Hey, well, do we need a break? Anybody need a break? 
Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind, so I can just take these so we don't get too far behind on the Hey, okay, let's take out. a 15 minute break and come back here at 3.30. Okay. <clears throat>